Hi, I'm Constance Prong and I'm here with ID8 TV and I'm here with Talon Tamita. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. So how honored are you to be have uh, MC tonight for East West Players? It's an honor that I look forward to being asked every year. It's, it's a wonderful um, cause uh, uh, supporting East West Players in its annual gala. 47 years, I believe it's this, oh, no, 46. Right. And uh, it's wonderful. I, I was just talking just a minute ago about our honoree tonight, um, Visionary Award uh, was given to Kimora Lee Simmons. It was like, she's a woman we all want to grow up to be, right? She was like, <laughs> literally six feet, you know, six feet five or something, but something like such that, grace, yeah. such articulateness, um, intelligence, and real support for not only what she does in her own business, but uh, other organizations and causes that she believes in. And uh, Taiko Project, Hiroshima, um, <laughs> Poriotics, and you know, Sarah M. Moyer, and just uh, the, the girls cast of uh, A Little Night Music. It was really Really wonderful, wonderful kind of event. That's why you see me talking like this. It was like, oh my God, so fun. Yeah. And to 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 MC it with Parvesh China. Oh my God, I adore him. I fell in love with him doing uh, a widow of no importance, and to work with him, even though it's on just a little basis, like MCing, it was really yeah. fun. It was really fun. Do you have any words of advice for anyone who might be wanting to pursue a life in entertainment? Um, if you were to talk to yourself, a younger version of yourself, you know. 10 years back, 20 years back. What is What are some of the things that you might want to say to that person or someone who's looking to walk down this path? Um, have a, a real sense of um, soft-heartedness, hard-headedness, but knowing when you have to give up your hard-headedness because you have to be able to listen to the words of people who've walked the path before you and even um, you have to listen to the words of people who are coming after you too because they have questions and concerns. It's just being able to be flexible and to always remember that you can learn from everybody and that everybody has a story and that it's not just your job to tell yours, it's to come in and listen to another person's story, interpret it so it could be shared with so many other people. That's, that's what's really important to me, to listen with your heart and your mind and uh, you'll be on your way. Yeah, I watched Joy Luck Club oh um, as a child, yeah. and I was, and I'm so excited to meet you because I'm like, oh my God, it's Waverly yeah, in person. Yeah, <laughs> one. What, what was that like for you shooting that? Was like, was it? I mean, any? Because it was so um, a pinnacle movie for the yeah. Asian American audience. Yeah. What, what was it? A special experience for you? Absolutely, all the way around. As as special as people assume. It would be filming a basically a woman's story. People come out to me and say it's a chick flick or it's a chick story, and I go, no, 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 no. Everybody has a mother. If they're lucky enough to have their mother still around growing up with all its trials, with all its tribulations, with all its ups and downs, and it's relatable to everybody, not only just mothers, I mean daughters and, mother, and their mothers, but sons and their mothers, because as many men have come up to me and said that was a really meaningful um, story because they didn't know the stories of their moms besides them being their mom. They didn't know their mom as a person or as a woman or as a young girl. So it's 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 uh, it's a it's a fantastic, wonderful experience. I mean, I don't think we either of us, any of us in that cast, can encapsulate what a special experience it was. It was just really, really great to come to go to work every day on set and to do the work, do the scenes, and to talk about ourselves as women, as mothers, and as daughters. So it was really very meaningful.